How's it going everybody? I'm Lox, and today I'll be redoing one of my old videos on the pause menu. And I wanted to show you how to do it in the new versions of Blender. Now, let's jump right in. Let's start by nuking the default cube. Then add a sun to make everything a little bit brighter. And we'll tweak the world properties just to make everything look a bit nicer. Add a new camera and place it so everything is in view. Now we'll jump over and make a collection. This is where the menu objects will be held. Then name the collection to pause menu. Move over to an open area in the world and add a second camera. Name this to pause menu camera. Then add in a plane, scale it, and position it into the camera view. Add some text to label the menu options and a label to show the scene is paused. Now that everything is set up, let's add some logic to the game. We'll be using logic bricks because the logic nodes do not have the logic we need to make this work. Select the main player camera and add a keyboard sensor. Set it to P for pause. Then add two collection actuators and a mouse actuator. Leave the mouse actuator visible, that way when we press P to pause the game, the mouse cursor will be visible. For the collection actuators, set the first one to suspend collection, then the second to add overlay collection. Suspend the main scene and set the overlay collection to the pause menu, and the camera to the pause menu camera. Then disable visibility to make sure the collection is still visible after it is suspended. Now when we play the game and press P, it opens the menu. But we won't be able to exit the pause menu. To allow us to do so, We'll add the same logic to the menu camera, with some changes. Select the pause menu camera and add the same logic bricks to it. Then set the main scene to resume collection and the overlay to remove overlay collection. Then set the mouse cursor to invisible by clicking it. To make it to where we can see it a little bit better, I'll add a spawner to add some moving objects to the game so we can see it when it's paused. Looks like I ran into an issue. Objects are still spawning after the game is paused. To fix this issue, just make sure the spawner is in the main collection that is being spawned you'll probably notice that you have to press the P key twice on startup. To fix this, just go to the pause menu collection, right click, and hide all inside. This will fix the issue with the key press. Another issue you may run into with this method is when you set the lifetime on a spawned object. Even when everything else is suspended, the object still despawns. Not sure why this happens in the newer versions of UPBGE. One easy fix is just to add some custom logic to despawn objects. Just add a delay and an end object Set the delay to however long you want the object to stick around, and now they won't despawn while the game is paused. And with that, that's how you add a pause menu to your game. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.